All right, you got what you wanted. Guys, after numerous requests, finally, Pure Passage offers Hajj. Experience the divine journey of Hajj, the most significant act of worship in Islam, performed on behalf of your loved ones by Pure Passage. Hajj is not only a spiritual obligation for every Muslim, but also a symbol of unity, peace and submission to Allah's will. Our devoted team of experienced sheikhs and students of knowledge will take on this holy pilgrimage on behalf of your family members who are unable to undertake this once in a lifetime journey. Our exclusive Hajj package includes the performance of the Hajj rituals, a detailed video report of the journey and a commemorative certificate marking the completion of this spiritual obligation. Don't miss out on this unique opportunity. Let our team take on this journey for you while honoring their legacy and providing you with peace of mind. Join us in the spiritual journey and leave a legacy that will last for eternity. Be'ith me love. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're going to react to Michael Knowles. Michael Knowles is a political commentator, a so called conservative, and a Christian who works for the Daily Wire. Yeah. And he recently made some comments on Islam. As a new revert to Islam myself, coming from a Christian background, I'm of course curious to hear what he has to say. With no further ado, let's have a look. The Minneapolis City Council advanced a bill late last week to permit the citywide public broadcasting of Islamic prayers up to five times a day. And when I say public broadcasting, I'm not talking about NPR and PBS. The bill, which was unanimously approved, would amend noise ordinances to permit mosques to transmit calls to prayer over loudspeakers with amplifying equipment as late as 11 p.m. Oh. and as early as 3.30 a.m. Which means that Minneapolis is now a Muslim city. Done. So first and foremost, it's absolutely amazing to see what kind of anger this man holds in his heart. And moreover, it's absolutely hilarious to see how triggered he is. All oh, the loud noises, the Islamic prayer. So this man is or pretends to be triggered about a call to prayer. Mind you, we are talking about a call to prayer that translated means God is the greatest. I bear witness that there is none worthy of worship except God. I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of God. Come to prayer, come to success. God is the greatest. There is none worthy of worship except God. So this would be the literal translation of the call to prayer. Michael, do you have an issue with that? Do you have an issue people being called to pray to one God? Is that really triggering you or is it triggering your employer, the Daily Wire? And the absolutely ridiculous statement in the end, now it is a Muslim city. Uh, is that so? Is it a majority Muslim city now just because you hear the call to prayer? This is absolutely laughable. You're not complaining about any Jewish rituals conducted in that city, nor are you complaining about Hindu rituals, etc., etc., you name it. It is just Islam that is a thorn in your eye. Why is that? That Minneapolis is now a Muslim city. It's a little strange to think, given Minnesota's traditional demographic makeup as ethnically whiter than the driven snow and religiously <laughs> polite. <laughs> Again, classical Western brainwashing. Don't you see Minnesota as white as snow? Genius, we're not talking about race. We're talking about religion. And Islam is a religion for everyone. You're welcome as well to accept Islam, believe it or not. Islam came for the world. You don't have to be brown to be a Muslim. Middle of the road Protestants. Unreal. I'm not sure Minnesotans had ever even heard of Islam until about 10 years ago. But now, as a result of mass migration, Minneapolis looks different. Bad, bad mass migration. If you look into the ancestry of Michael Knowles here, you will find out that he is of Italian and of Irish descent. So now let us think, was there ever a mass migration to America from Italians and Irish people? I'm not even saying necessarily that that's wow. the worst thing. 
Islam, for all of its flaws, is still a saner worldview than leftism. <laughs> At least Muslims. <laughs> I'm honestly wondering how a person can be so fake, but moreover, I'm wondering who is watching that person in the first place. But please, Michael, let us know what are the flaws of Islam. <laughs> At least Muslims acknowledge the existence of God. Uh, Muslims understand the difference between boys and girls. The same, sadly, cannot be said of leftists. Fantastic. So you do acknowledge that Islam is praising one God. You do acknowledge that Muslims, generally speaking, have a better worldview than leftists, that they actually understand that there is male and female, which many leftists do not. However, Michael, I do make the claim that you are not a Christian. Yes, you like to pretend that you are a conservative Christian because this is acceptable within the societal context of America, a white conservative Christian male. But this is absolutely ridiculous because you don't live by the Bible. If you would ever truly open up your Bible and research what the Bible has to say, you would certainly convert to Islam. The drastic change in Minneapolis is also not the worst thing because it serves as a reminder to the rest of us about a basic fact of politics. Cultures are going to worship one thing or another. Those Cultures questions. will be defined by one thing or another. Yes. There's no neutrality. There's no vacuum. The things we value, the rituals we engage in, the language we speak, the way we view ourselves, it's going to be based on one worldview or another. Absolutely. We great. will have a Christian culture, or we will have a leftist culture, or I guess we could have a Muslim culture. Yep. But the one thing Inshallah. we are not going to have is no culture. Perhaps conservatives will finally get that message now that it's going to be blared on loudspeakers five times a day. I'm Michael Knowles. This is The Michael Knowles Show. All right, this is already it for today's short clip. He's absolutely right there in the end when he says that society will be defined by culture, by a certain culture. And I came to the same conclusion researching my own religion, researching politics. Back in the day, yes, I was neo-nationalistically inclined, patriotic, right-wing, quote-unquote. The point of the story is that I saw that all of those ideologies are flawed. Islam is not. He, of course, made the claim here that Islam is flawed. Show us the evidence. What is flawed about Islam? You're talking about conservatism. You're talking about traditionalism. Islam is the only religion capable of preserving that tradition, of preserving that true conservatism that you are talking about. However, this is, of course, all a scam. Those conservatives simply change with time as well. If you would go back 20, 30 years, you would see that conservatives were against gay marriage. Nowadays, conservatives are for gay marriage, but they are against mutilating our children. So that's fantastic. At least conservatives still hold on to that kids should be kids and they shouldn't chop off their pee pee. However, that being said, in 20, 30, 50, 100 years, I bet you conservatives will shift again, just as they did with the gay marriage issue. Because as I said, back in the day, gay marriage was absolutely seen as reprehensive by the conservative. Now, Nowadays, it is A-OK, -okay, as long as you don't hurt anybody. It is totally fine to be transgender as well. It is a slippery slope. Very soon, they're going to accept that children can choose their gender too. And then they're going to have another issue that they are battling and that they are talking about, screaming and shouting, getting very, very emotional about mass immigration, about Islam and whatnot. It is a slippery slope because you are changing your values over and over again. And this is why, Michael, I say yet again that you are not not a Christian, because Christianity, true Orthodox Christianity, has not changed whatsoever. Why don't you look it up? There you would see that the value system of Christianity was fixed. But nowadays, Christianity is changing. They are hanging LGBT flags in their churches as well. This is not possible within Islam. Islam is the only true conservative religion, just to use your own phrasing here, because it never changes. The Quran ends with saying that now we perfected your religion, which means the religion will never change. And this is, of course, a thorn in the eye of the progressive, of the liberal, and of the so-called conservative. 
conservative because the perspective of the conservative is ever changing as I said otherwise you would have no issues with Islam and this is what I came to conclude because I come from an orthodox Christian background myself I was scanning the realms of Christianity Protestantism Catholicism Mormonism even if you want to call that Christianity and ultimately came back to orthodox Christianity because orthodox Christianity was the only truly preserved Christianity however then you dig deeper and you come to the conclusion that even that original Christianity is not so original after all because it has been conceptualized with the Nicene Creed in Nicaea by so-called church fathers so it's not the direct religion of Jesus if anything you could say that it is the religion of Paul and once you come to that conclusion you see there is only one religion that is the religion transmitted by all prophets which means yeah all the prophets came with the same message of worshiping one God Michael and this is the Adam this is the call to prayer the call to prayer is calling you to worship one God alone and stay away from all the degeneracy that you try to warn against all right guys but this is it for today's video let me know in the comment section what you think and if you like the video leave me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already guys please do so and if you want to further support this channel all the links are in the description box below thank you so much for your ongoing support guys and as always may god bless you all much love and peace